We also are helping you avoid a catastrophe on Thanksgiving. Yeah, in the last hour of the morning show, you, we showed you where you can fry your turkey safely. And now we're getting to the action, the fun part. Mel is live. Mel showing us what could happen if you do not thaw your turkey completely. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're talking this really could be dangerous and most of us aren't experts. So we're kind of learning as we go. Or if you think you've been doing this a couple years, you're like, OK, I got it down. But the key here is to make sure that you have a thawed bird and that it's dry as well. Correct. It's uh, very important. That there's no uh, water in, in inside inside the turkey or even on the outside, you're supposed to pat it dry. Uh, and that'll stop it from the water reacting to the hot oil. Right. OK, so I think we're, we're trying to yeah. tweak a few things here. Yeah, we're getting and, ready. And um, let's move out the way because okay. we do have Brian here who is going to drop um, yep. a frozen bird into that oil. Yeah. Um, are we ready? I think, I think so. OK. Yeah, we're getting close. All right. Another thing is even yeah. the the um, frozen bird is important. But again, even a, a thawed out, well thawed out, mm -hmm. well dried bird would, uh, well, if it's overfilled, well, obviously, cause a, a real problem. So you want to so. look for that fill line when you're putting your yeah. oil in. All right. All right. So again, these are experts with JFRD yeah. who are making sure that this is safe and you can hear it and you can see it. So they just dropped the whoa, a frozen bird into the oil. And you see there, you know, Randy Weiss here with JFRD, the fire union president. Um, what happened there? What did we see? So uh, obviously you, you see the reaction of uh, the, the, uh, the frozen bird right. with the oil and uh, causing it to spill over. Obviously, we got a big, you know, a lot of spill there. And initially, as you saw it, it, it contacted the, uh, the flame and there was a flash. So, and that's what you want to be cautious of. I think the fire went out. Right. Um, but and that's what, what not guaranteed, right? Yeah, absolutely. That could still continue to burn. And if you have that close to your house or obviously right. on anything flammable, you, you got a real problem. And you should be dialing 911 at this point. Really? So, yep. so at this point, you hope you have your fire extinguisher close. Correct. Um, but call firefighters for that it, backup. Absolutely. Call, when you do, because a lot of us don't use fire extinguishers, you know. So, mm -hmm. how do you use one properly? Well, it's uh, you got to pull the pin. Uh, right. Obviously, make sure that it's charged. It should be a little needle in the green on the gauge. Pull the pin, squeeze the handle, and you sweep back and forth. So, uh, if that oil was burning, you would obviously, uh, you know, be trying to put it out. And when we did this, you know, talked about it in the last hour, we had it in the grass. Yeah. This reacted a little better probably because it's sitting there on concrete, uh, right? Absolutely. Uh, the, the, the stable part is really more about on the concrete is more about uh, making sure that the burner or the pot doesn't tip over, right? right? You have a good stable base. Okay. Um, you know, if it's on dirt or grass, that oil will kind of soak in and it won't spread so much. But it's way more important to make sure that you uh, you have good stability when you're frying a turkey. All right, so make sure you have that thawed yeah. turkey, yeah. a dry turkey, right. and take a look at the fill line. Don't over overfill and you know that's really got to consider it when you're thinking about how big or how small your turkey is you want to make sure that it's kind of perfect right i think sometimes if you buy the pots it'll tell you the maximum size turkey right. that you can get in it all right randy thank you so much brian thank you so much for showing us that you know we want to make sure that um, you know people are safe because you i mean it might sound a little outlandish but you said this really does happen every year yeah, absolutely yeah firefighters uh, in the next couple of days will respond to several of these throughout the city yeah all right well, we want you to be safe enjoy your thanksgiving so thank you. you all we know you now know what not to yeah. do so yeah. do the right thing and make sure that you don't end up with a mess like this one. Yep. And thank you so much for um, this right. demonstration, yep. especially right. for our viewers.